you're gonna do, just someone's grabbing your collar, right? Um, this is pretty common in jujitsu and judo, but it's also very common in the street. I gotta grab him up and then swing at him like that. So before it gets to this, I really wanna see you guys just getting that grip and breaking it off. So all he's gonna do is just get it off, all right? Just knock it the fuck off. That's gonna be our tier one tactic, our level one tactic, all right? So I grab here, he doesn't want me to get there, and he comes here and defends himself before I get the opportunity. Um, now let's say that I come here and he tries to break that grip and I'm not letting him break that grip, okay? There are other things that you can do. Number one, I really want you to think about just hitting him in the face, okay? Like, pretty simple. Um, he grabs you here, you try to break it off nicely and you can't and he's still here. Well, he's got his um, arm occupied, right? So just punch him in the nose or elbow either way, uh, but that should take care of it. Now let's say it come worse, comes to worse and he's got a, a grip on you, right? There are things that we can start thinking about where we come here and bend it off like this. This is one thing, I use this a lot in jujitsu and stuff, uh, pretty, pretty easy, okay? But let's break that down. So he comes here, I'm gonna kind of get a hold of his wrist and then bring this other wrist, in this case, my left wrist under it, okay? So it's like not over it, it's under it, we're looping around. And then all we're gonna do is take our wrist and just put pressure down on here while we also push this. So it's like basically a two on, two on one collar grip. So he comes here, he's not letting up. Maybe he's not actively striking at me, but I wanna get him off me so that he doesn't control me. I'm coming here, I'm gonna control this with kind of a monkey paw grip, right? Not here, but here. And then I'm gonna come under and I'm gonna push here and also use this wrist and push down like this and get him off me. Now obviously from there we could do cool ninja stuff like this or ha, but really the most important part of this technique is just learning that grip break. So I want your partner and you to go and take turns, do two and two, right? So you come here, do that, come here, you do that, and then I'll come here and he'll do something and he'll break it off, right? And then one more time and I'll come in here and, here and we'll switch. So that's a really good, good, good technique that I know you, um, I utilize a lot and it works well. We're gonna take a look at some other grip breaks here and go.